coming to you with a swatching video. I have not been able to do a swatch video in approximately 100 years. Um, and I intended to do one earlier today and then work stuff got away from me and then my mom called and I was talking to her and so I just didn't get a chance to do it. So it's a little later in the day than I would like. I have maybe half an hour, 45 minutes until I lose light. And so we're just gonna see what we can get done. I have some bottled inks I wanna swatch. I have the Fairfield Press inks that I wanna swatch, the Autumn Collection. I'm actually waiting until I get my Winter Collection, the Holly Collection. Um, it's like literally down the highway for me, but for whatever reason, they can't deliver it. It was shipped to UPS, and then UPS did that thing where they give it to USPS, and um, USPS says they don't have it yet. UPS says it should have been delivered Monday. I don't know where it is, so um, yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. But first, before we get to this watching, I have some, I have some, I have anyway, I have so much to swatch. Um, so we're gonna do, we're gonna do like certain sets, and hopefully, I get the set that I want to get done today while I still have light. But first, I wanted to talk about some gifts that I received. Um, I received, I went to my post, I had to mail some stuff and I went to my post office box and had the presents. So, um, these little things, a Bic, um, four color pen and these, um, uh, placards, these like dental brushes and this, um, this is a makeup brush holder are from pen friend Penny and, um, this is like an ink vial holder and I just, oh, I just got rid of all my ink vials. I had some loose ones sitting here, but it holds vials perfectly. So there's one, two, three, it holds six. And then I have seventh. I have a seventh. So for ink flights, I can like hold them all in one spot. We're actually going to use these today though. Um, and then, um, also, so this pen, this and this card were all from Penny. So thank you, Penny. Look at this pretty card. I should take it out of the plastic. I didn't want to, I didn't want it to get ruined. So, um, this is a um, Monteverde pumpkin cake and this is Troublemaker Espana Boulevard, but look how pretty this design is. It's so pretty. Oh, you can't, that's the glare from the window, but it's so pretty. Um, yeah, so we're going to use this today. And then from Pen Friend Yvonne, oh, and this is a big four color pen. It has, um, green, pink, and like that tealy blue sort of color. Um, yeah, super, like, totally, like, if I were colors, this is the pen I'd be. Um, so this is, like, just to, like, throw in your purse or whatever. And then these are for cleaning out, um, like, converters and stuff like that. So I thought that was, like, ingenious. I love using things that are intended for one purpose for a completely different purpose. Um, and then this is a beautiful notebook that was sent to me by pen friend Yvonne. Um, it's, um, got some really nice paper. I'm not sure if it's Tommy River. I oh, know it's too thick to be Tommy Wave. Maybe it's Rodia. I'm not sure, but it's really nice paper. And then a couple of like envelopes for like letter writing and then a really nice note. And so, um, yeah, so thank you, Yvonne. And thank you, Penny. Oh, and some washi tape and then these little, um, cartridge, um, they're taped to them, but these car like cartridge stoppers, which are like ingenious. So, um, thank you so much, Penny and Yvonne for the lovely gifts. Um, I really appreciate that. So that's really nice. Um, it was, it was a surprise, but I have informed delivery on my mail, on my post office box because I don't want to like go there every day if there's not going to be in, anything in there. Um, cause I try not to go places if possible. Um, pretty much I go to the grocery store slash target um, targets the grocery store as well sometimes. Um, so I go to target and the grocery store. I go to work on my couple of days a week. Oh, excuse me. And I go to the post office. Those are the only places I go. <laughs> if it's not one of those places, I don't go there. So yeah, I'm really good about staying home. I like staying home. I've been playing, um, I've been playing Bloodborne, which if you um, watch Creepy Nibs, you've probably seen some of their videos on their channel where they've been playing the game or Dark Souls 3. Anyway, but yeah, but I've been, I've been playing Bloodborne and, um, I'm really good at it and by really good I mean I kind of suck but like I'm better than I was when I started but anyway that's like been my obsession I've pretty much been working and playing Bloodborne and not sleeping at all so anyway ink but I haven't been able to play with ink in so long and I just want to make sure to okay so what I want to swatch, if I have time to do it, is I bought samples around, I don't think it was around my birthday, but like the beginning of the month, I bought samples of the Van Diemen's Harvest series, and I want to swatch them all, because, well, I thought about getting bottles of all of them, and then I'm like, 
knock it off crazy lady you haven't hardly touched the ink bottles you have but I really wanted to try a bunch of the colors so um yeah where is my paper where's my paper one second oops sorry patches I didn't know you were down there hi buddy how you doing if I lean over this chair is gonna fall so one second let me roll away We've got our beautiful swatch notebook. Um, this was a gift from Ms. Turtle, who has been doing watercolor videos. Have you been watching? She did like a pencil coloring video. She's doing all kinds of fun little neat stuff. So go check that out. Um, yeah, oh God, I'm like so sniffly right now. So cool. So we have, in the, in the Harvest series, we have Tasmanian saffron. I'm just picking these out of the bags and I'm not doing them in any certain order. And then we have uh, wasabi. I love how Van Diemen's like has their inks by series. Um, I'm like tempted to get samples of all the ones I don't have. Zucchini. I already kind of played with this one. It looks really cool I think. Beetroot relish which is going to be it's like a purpley color I think. And it's already sold out on Van Ness's website. Also, Van Diemen's had an excellent sale over like Black Friday weekend, and I did not Tasmanian lavender, and I did not take advantage of it because I'm kind of trying not to spend money a little bit, sort of, kind of, a little bit. Um, Van Diemen's um, sweetheart cherry, and that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna stop with that bag held six so here's my little vial holder like how cute is that okay okay i have my ring of cards right here i have like so much cleanup to do i have cleaned up the like base area of my desk but i have like coloring cards everywhere i need to organize everything all over again i have a desk off to my left here and it's kind of insane um, I'm so, I mean, here seven and a half minutes in and I haven't swatched any ink, y'all. I need a paper towel or a washcloth or something. Okay, it's been so long since I've ink swatched, I don't even remember what I'm doing. Oh, my computer just locked. I need that light, it makes it so dark if I don't have it. Remind me to wiggle the mouse a little bit. Okay, so here's my paper towel. I have my paintbrushes. I have my glass dip pen. This is a Moon Man Mini um, with a glass nib. You can find them on Amazon, on eBay, um, I don't know, like AliExpress, wherever you find your cheap pens. So I'm gonna start with um, Wasabi because that is the first one I grabbed. Um, yeah, but these inks are so pretty. I just love all the fall colors and I couldn't decide on just like getting like one or two of them. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. Let's take a look at see what this ink looks like. Oh, this lighting is terrible. I'm so sorry. I need to hook. Well, now that my desk is cleaned up, I can, um, and I got these from Vanas pens. Now that my desk is cleaned up, I can put my, I can put my lamp here. I bought my lamp for my room, but I think it's going to be more useful out here, not just for videos, but in general, um, now that we're getting into the winter hours. And this is Van Diemen's. Oops. Need more ink. Oops. Come on. Did I grab the wrong one? No, this is the good pen. Okay. It's just being a punk. In a blank. There we go. Wasabi. Okay. 
This green is like really pretty. It's really bright looking. Ugh, I might have to go get that lamp and hook it up anyway. The only problem is the cord's so skinny and Pearl will eat it. And then it won't work anymore. So I have to like plug it in and then put it away. And actually, I think I'm gonna go get that right now. I'm gonna pause this video because I'm losing light much faster and you can't even see. I mean, also, I always say that you can't see and then you all see, see it just fine, but I'm gonna go get the lamp. I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. I don't know if this is too much or how this light looks. Um, I typically have it off to the side, but it was kind of looking really harsh and stuff, so I don't know. So anyway, this is what this one looks like. It's still drying, but we'll set that as the side. Actually, I'm gonna let's move this. Let's see, over here. It just looks like it's like all shadowy. Okay, I think that's okay. I think that's okay. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay. So next up we have that was wasabi. Next up we have zucchini. My screen is so dirty I can't even see if I'm on the screen. I love zucchini bread. I always never thought that I would like it, and then my one, like my friend's mom made it one time, and they're like, "Oh, it's like banana bread," which I also love. And um, yeah, it was amazing. So I was like, "Zucchini? That's a vegetable. Why are you making veg bread out of a vegetable?" Anyway, I was also like, I don't know, like ten. Um, I didn't know any better. But yeah, so this thing is really pretty. It's like a dark green. But I think it does like some cool sheeny stuff. From what I remember. So for anybody who hasn't seen one of my swatching videos before or in a while, I like to go across because I like to see how it looks when it goes that way. But then I go down like vertically because it helps lay the cards, it helps the cards lay straight. They don't curl as much. Um, which I find to be super helpful. Um, like they curl while they're wet, but once they dry, it's a much like better experience. I'm gonna miss the spot. So I'm just gonna kinda pull the ink around. And I like that dry spot, so I'm gonna leave that there because I like how that looks. And yeah, we'll, we'll set this aside to dry as well. Fun stuff! I'm gonna have to hope that I'm in frame because I literally cannot see anything on my screen. I need to get one of, I need to get a new screen protector 
I was impatient when I got the one that I got and didn't wait, like, didn't go searching for the, like, matte finish one. Um, so it's the glossy one and my fingerprints show up and everything, like, glares off of it and it's annoying. So next up we're going to do uh, Tasmanian Saffron, which looks like a really pretty, like, red color. I don't know if it's red or like an orangey red, but we'll find out. We'll find out together. I am, am so excited to be like doing these. I, it's been, work's been crazy and then my roommate was home and I don't like recording when my roommate is home. Um, I can do it, I just, I just don't like to. They feel bad. Trying to make somebody be quiet. Saffron? Did they spell it with one? They spelled it with one F. So I'm going to spell it with one F. I think it's two. Isn't it two? I don't know. I'm going to do what the label says. Maybe it's like some, I don't know. Maybe that's what the bottle says. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to do what the label says, even if the label is wrong. Do, 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 do. Ooh, that's really pretty. Very pretty. Well, I didn't like intend to do Christmas colors, but I guess that's sort of what I've done. That's really pretty, that's gorgeous. Next up we have uh, Van Diemen's Harvest Sweetheart Cherry. This is one of the ones I was most excited about um, getting. So, awesome. It's another pretty, like, looks like it's going to be like a darker red. Like one of those dirty reds I'm apparently so fond of all of a sudden. This is a really pretty color. Sweetheart Cherry. Um, it looks like it could maybe have some nice shading. Also, my pen was running out of ink where I was writing, so that could contribute to it. But yeah, it looks like that's gonna be a really pretty, a really pretty red. Kind of a brick red, maybe? Oh, maybe it's like close to Cherry Danish, which is actually an ink that I have to swatch when I do um, new, bottled, new bottles of ink. Ooh, that's really pretty. I think this is cooler than um, Cherry Danish, but I love it. I'm not sure if the bubbles are from the ink or from soap from my brush being cleaned. Um, I love this though. Yes? Do you love it too, Mr. B? Let me use the patches. Do you think the ink is pretty? It's not orange though. Are you sure? Are you sure about that, Mr. B? It's not orange. Again, with the Christmas colors, not intentionally. Uh, yeah, I think this one's gonna have really nice shading. Like out of a pen. Oops. Come back here. Don't fall. Okay. Okay. Next up we have Tasmanian Lavender. really 
pretty light. Looks like it's light, a lightish purple color. This one's really pretty. It reminds me a little bit of um, um, like Little Rubinia and Sailor 150, um, which is excellent. Here's what my paper towel looks like so far. That's zucchini, that's wasabi, that is uh, the cherry one, and that is saffron. pretty light lavender color. Pretty, pretty. It was 32 degrees this morning. I can't believe it. It like hardly gets that cold, but especially like now, like it was so weird. Like we've went from summer to like practically winter. This is a really nice, reminds me of like Yamabudo or Sailor Akebi. Um, it's one of those like pretty purpley pink, like red purples, red violet or whatever, purple, like fuchsia. I literally just looked a couple a couple minutes ago to see if I was still recording, and I was, and then I got a phone call. So I don't know where it cut off. I was talking about this ink. <sighs> anyway, um, yeah, I don't know where it cut off because I started recording again, and then it cut off again. So, um, yeah, I don't know what's happening, but um, yeah. So anyway, this is Van Diemen's. Like, is anybody else getting tons of spam calls? Like, ton. Ooh, I just dipped that way too far. Like, tons and tons of spam calls. It's like spammers are all working from home and calling me. Like, I don't. Like, my phone has rung so much, so much. Um, since we were, like, told to stay home. Um, but yeah, it's like crazy. Like, I just wish people would stop calling me. <laughs> Especially people that, like, don't matter. Um, which are scammers. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. I really love this. I was thinking this was going to be more like Yamabudo, but I don't think it is. It reminds me a little more of a Kebby. And I don't think it's quite dark lilac. It's not, it's not dark lilac, but it's like a pretty warm purple like that. Oh my gosh, I love this. I like how it's like pooling right there. I kind of want it to run down a little bit though. Yeah. Oops, try this little trick. All the creepy nibs. 
Ooh, we're going, we're going. It looks like an elephant trunk. Kind of. Well, not anymore. But yeah. That's really pretty. I like that one a whole lot. I'm sure you're not at all surprised. Okay. And that is all that we had in the six vial holder. So we have six, uh, we technically have like 10 more inks to go. So I'm going to hopefully get through this without being interrupted. So next we have some of these. So let's see what we have. We have Van Diemen's Eggplant. Golden, oops, Golden Nugget. Oh, sorry, Golden Nugget Pumpkin. Peanut Brittle, which I love specifically for the name. I don't know what the color is going to necessarily be my favorite, but I just wanted to have some because of the name. Peanut Brittle is so good. It's bad for your teeth, but it's so good. Blackberry Jam, which is another one that I'm really excited about. Look, it basically looks black in the vial. It's like a really dark, like burgundy maybe. Van Diemen's Harvest Rhubarb Crumble, another one that I was really excited about. Hi, Kitty. Which kitty is this? Hi, buddy. Hi, Patches. How you doing? Hi, Patches, Patches. Do you come to play with the inks? Do you want to play with inks? Do you want to play with inks? Are you going to talk? Did you say hi? No? Okay. Um. He didn't demand a belly rub, so I got away with some head scratches. And then we have apricot. Yay. Um, uh, should I turn? Oops, that's my hair. Um, should I turn the page? I'm going to go ahead and turn the page. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. We're going to... Oops. I'm going to do this up here. Okay, and I'm gonna start with, this is Golden Nugget Pumpkin, which is the first one I grabbed. I put them in the like, little container randomly, so. Um, ooh, this is, ooh, this is a pretty orange. Oh, maybe like an orange red? I can't really tell. I don't know if it's gonna be orange or orange red. It's very pretty though. I love these fall colors. Fall is my favorite season. Um, ooh, pretty. Reminds me a little of KWZ Grapefruit. Just like off the top of my head. But maybe a little more orangey? A little orangier than, um, Then, uh, cause look at that down there. A little more orangey than grapefruit, maybe? Um, cause KWZ grapefruit's actually kind of red to me. almost like the writing better than I like the swatch card but I think that means that this will have like really good shading perhaps very pretty very pretty it's so fun to be playing with inks again I can't even tell you Okay, so now that I've like swatched it out, it definitely looks more orange than like, or you know, than um, like KWZ grapefruit. Are we in the frame? I think we are. Um, then we'll do rhubarb crumble. 
pretty. Yes, buddy? Can't wait to see how this um, compares to the Paris Little Press rhubarb. I forget what the actual name is called. Something rhubarb. Roy rhubarb Royale, Royal Rhubarb, something like that. I love it. I love that so much. That is a me color. I think like half my shirts are this color. Okay. That color looks really nice on me too. That sh specific shade. Okay, next we have up um, Blackberry Jam. Let's see how we can do this without contaminating everything. Um, pretty. I also love blackberry jam, as long as it's seedless. I do not like the seeds. This is a really, really, really dark purple. Almost looks black. It's still wet, so I think it's too hard to tell like what it compares to. But the like the C kind of reminds me of like Kato Easy Gray Plum and Three Oysters Purple Gray, like I had last last month for our 30 inks. Um, we'll see what it looks like when I swatch it. Of course, that can change everything. Of course. See what we've got here. Oops. Yeah, that's pretty. That's like really luscious. In the swatch part, it looks like velvet, like crushed velvet. I like it. I like it a lot. Again, probably nobody is surprised. Do, 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 do. keep making mouth fart noises because I'm five and then we're gonna do eggplant I 
different shade of dark purple looks like. Is it just like plant? Ooh, pretty. Ooh. Yes, I like this one. I'm a fan of this one. I was afraid it was gonna look really close to the one we just did because it was another dark purple, but it's different. The other one's a little more warmer and this is a little cooler. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. Boom, 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 boom. All right, and I have four more slots left in my little folder, so, and I have four more inks left, so we're just gonna open those up and see what we've got. It's so dark right now. It's not quite, okay. We have been demons harvest, no, oops, harvest nothing. And harvest beeswax. And pink radish. Whoops, pink radish. And last but not least, apple cider. So that's gonna be the it for this swatchy video. Like I'm gonna finish these six inks and then um, yeah, and then I I don't know if I will do another set of um, swatching tonight or if I'll do another video. Um, I don't know if I will do it at another time. Okie dokie, so we're going to start with, I'm just going to grab one, I'm just going to grab one, I'm going to grab one, I don't know, I'm going to spin it around so I don't know what's where, I'm going to grab this one. <laughs> I like to make it a game for myself in case you haven't like noticed, so we have beeswax. I'm on the hunt for the perfect yellow. I'm not really technically actually hunting for the perfect yellow, but um, I mean, I already have Ferris wheel press buttered popcorn, which is probably my second favorite yellow. But I want to have at least like a yellow to go to in case I ever need like a yellow ink, which I don't know many people who would like have to have a yellow ink, but if I ever need one, I want to have one. Beeswax. As a nunny at beeswax. Just kidding. I, I, I mentioned that I'm five, right? Because <laughs> I'm five. No, I'm kidding. 
Where am I? Am I kidding? Um, I don't know if that's too dirty. So I can go, go, go. go. Pretty. I like it in the writing. I don't necessarily like it on the card, although it could be dry differently. It seems like it might be a little too light for my purposes, for what I would like, but... Although I do like the writing, so who knows? see I'm just kind of pushing some ink over to some spots that I missed I always act like it doesn't bother me when I miss a spot but then it ends up bothering me so hold on nope okay I'm running out of room cider I love apple cider like the drink yum I love hard apple cider that's like probably my drink of choice if I go out I don't I don't I mean 2020 has made a drinker out of me but I don't typically drink Ooh, pretty a whole lot um yeah I don't like beer so whenever I go out and like go for like like my knitter friends um, like to go grab a beer sometimes when we go um, when we go to um, like the sharks are playing and it's knit night sometimes we'll um, go to like a sports bar and like knit at the sports bar and um, or like Buffalo Wild Wings or something like that this is a pretty color this is really pretty. Um, um, so we'll go knit at a sports bar or like, like I said, like Buffalo Wild Wings or something like that, which is always fun. Um, but I don't, I don't like beer. So, <laughs> I mean, I could get like a Diet Coke or whatever, but then like, I'm used to being the only one in the room not drinking, but, um, yeah, every once in a while I want to take and a partake in an adult beverage. And so my drink of choice when I'm out and about is usually like a hard cider because it's like adult apple juice. <laughs> Remember that part where I sent them five? Yeah. But there was this one place we went to um, a pizza place once and they had like craft beers and stuff like that. And I got like a, like a specialty craft cider and it was like vanilla flavored. It was like vanilla. Ooh, hello. It was um, like a vanilla apple cider. It was so good. I wish I remembered what it was called because I would I would go find it and buy it and bring some home because it was so delicious. Um, I should go see if I can find that company's website and um, like order some or something. That is such an interesting color, like in a good way. Like I can't, like it looks like it's like a, like a, yellow kind of reminds me of um K uh, not cave dizzy was it three oysters mustard from last month a little bit maybe not as maybe not quite that but sort of um i like it though oh i like it a lot that's cool um then we've got what's this one nutmeg you cannot have fall without nutmeg. You just can't. Pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pie? <laughs> mm, am I in frame? Yes. But 
every collection needs a pretty brown. This is a really pretty, it's like a nice brown. I am enjoying it. It's like fairly neutral. It doesn't seem like it's too red or too orange or too purple or anything. It looks like it's pretty like neutral, like middle of the road. It's just like, it's a brown brown. Which I don't think there are enough of those out there. I feel like too many of them lean one way or the other. And so this is a pretty... At least in the writing, anyway. We'll see what what the swatch says. The swatch makes it look pretty light. I like it in the writing better. Yeah, I don't like the swatch at all. I much prefer it in the writing. Although, once it dries, who knows? It could be gorgeous once it dries. All right, we have three left. We are going to, let's see, what do we have left? We have pink radish, peanut brittle, and apricot. I'm gonna do apricot next. reminiscent a little bit in the writing of um, Sailor Gentle Apricot. I have a bottle of that though, so I wouldn't necessarily need this if it's similar or the same. Um, very pretty. Hi Pearl, I'm gonna need you to stay over there. Like the swatch seems really pale and watery. I'm not sure that I um I'm a big fan of that, but well let's see how it dries. Uh, again, I like the writing though which I guess is technically the most important part. This is what it looks like on the, on the swatch, on the um, paper towel. Arguably the ones I'm most excited about, I think. Well, of the ones that I haven't swatched yet. Um, we have radish and peanut brittle. I'm gonna do pink radish is the one that I grabbed, so that's the one that we're gonna do. I'm waiting for my phone to ring, and I hope that I can at least get through these next two and show. I'm hoping that I can finish the video. Demon's Harvest, is it Pink Radish? Yeah. Uh, this reminds me uh, a little bit of Ackerman Pulcry Pink. Um, maybe not quite like that, but 
it's reminiscent of that and I have a full bottle of that so um, I'm not feeling like I definitely need to have this one so that's good I mean for me good for my wallet not necessarily good for my demons um, I do love their inks though Pretty, pretty, pretty. I do love the shade of pink, though. It's so pretty. Pearl, hi. Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing, my girl? Hi, are you gonna, oh, you're not gonna come say hi? Are you gonna come say hi? No, no, come here. Okay, you're just gonna cause trouble. I should have known. Pretty. This out of the way a little bit if I can. Having swatched 16 inks, I'm sort of running out of room to put cards, but this is the last one. It's a peanut brittle, which is very interesting to me. Get down. Her pearl. Get down. looks real close to um, the apple cider so I'll be interested interested in um, seeing how these compare side by side I feel like it's maybe a little more brown but we'll see so fun stuff. Okay. No. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I have the light right here. Um, the house is dark and my monitor is turned off. So all I have is this light up. Is this light up here? Set that off to the side so that can dry. Since that's the last one we did, and then we will show off what we have done so far today. Okay. So thank you, Penny, for the little vial holder. This was this came in very handy for keeping my inks out of the way. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with Van Diemen's wasabi. Excuse, oh, excuse me. Sorry. I hope I edited that out. Let's see where we can put this in the frame. So you can, oh, let me zoom. Let me zoom back out. Okay, so here we have wasabi. And then we have zucchini, which I thought is supposed to be like kind of sheeny, but I don't see that it's really looking sheeny on this um, card. But it is a really nice dark green, and you can get some of that lighter shading. Uh, very pretty. 
Then we have a Tasmanian Saffron. I'm pretty sure that's spelled wrong. Unless that's just how they spell it. I don't know. Um, Pearl, what are you doing? Ah, that's my foot! Ow! Ow! God damn it. Oh, God. Ouch. She was playing with a piece of paper and just, like, clawed the crap out of my foot. That's my flute. Okay. Then we have Sweetheart Cherry. I like this one a lot. Um, Tasmanian Lavender. This reminds me kind of of the color first Milky Lavender. It's a little different, I think. Um, I didn't really care for Milky Lavender, so... Um, yeah, and it doesn't seem... It's it's really similar to Little Ravinia, in my personal opinion. I swear to God. Cats! Hi. What are you doing? Are you coming to apologize? Are you coming to apologize? Um, what do we have? I think then I did... I don't remember what order I did next, because I think... I'm just going to do this. Beetroot Relish? We have Golden Nugget Pumpkin. Kind of reminds me of Diamond Pumpkin a little bit. Um, a little bit. Um, we'll do this down here. And Harvest Eggplant. Looks like it wants to have like a little halo down there maybe. I think these are out of order now. And then here is a Blackberry Jam, which basically looks black in the writing. But it's like a really, really, really dark purple burgundy that you can barely tell. There is some like slight sheen around the edges here, so it looks like it could halo if it's not sheening. But yeah, very nice. And just so you see these two next to each other, I was worried they'd be the same, but they're not. This kind of reminds me of, I think it's Mulberry by Vinta. Um, Rhubarb crumble, which is looking a little more red now, but that's fine. Um, what do we do with them? Beeswax, I think. Beeswax is a pretty yellow. It looks like it's pretty bright. Um, I don't necessarily know that I would be able to. The card's still kind of wet. Um, this probably wouldn't be a yellow for me. I was hoping it would shade a little more, but it looks like it's just a pretty flat yellow. It's very pretty, but I don't think that it would be a yellow that I would like. It's very, very bright. If we're toned down just a little, um, like apple cider, I really like that one um, a whole lot. And then um, Van Diemen's Nutmeg, which looks like it might have oh, some reddish in there maybe? I don't know. It's really pretty. I don't care for the swatch, but I like it in the writing up here. Um, oh. Somehow my um, swatch got wet, so it did this. This is peanut brittle. <laughs> I like peanut brittle. They are not the same. This is a little darker. Um, I think you can see that. So this is like light, medium, and dark. <laughs> and then we have apricot, which is still drying. And then um, the pink reddish, which is a really nice pink color. So there are my Van Demon inks for um, the, this is the Harvest Collection. Um, and yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. It's really fun to be able to swatch inks again. Um, I will have another video probably tomorrow for you with some more. Um, like I said, I have some Ferris wheel press inks to swatch. I have some random ink samples from Venice. I have some bottles of ink to swatch. So, yeah, we've got some stuff coming. Um, ink Flight has not shipped, but I've been charged for it. So that's coming soon. Um, I've had some requests for some things. Um, I want to do like a planner update now that we're getting close to 2021. And just kind of let you know, like, I've done some planner stack videos in the past and just kind of let you know where I am and what I'm using. And, um, yeah, in case that's interesting to you. Um, so, yeah. So, we've got some stuff coming. I've got ink shelf videos coming. I know that I keep promising them, but they're really coming this month, I promise. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to go clean up my mess. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Take care. Love you. Bye. 
Oh, um, let me know. Did you have a favorite or favorites? Um, I think it's a really pretty fall collection. Um, if I had to pick favorites, I think that I would pick probably Beetroot Relish and Rhubarb Crumble. Um, of the yellows, I think, oh, this is tough. It's between these two. I guess I like them both. I don't know which one. I will, I'm going to have to play with them in pens to see for sure. Um, and I really like zucchini a whole lot. But I also like eggplant and blackberry jam. And all of them. I like all of them. Oh, God, I'm going to ruin this card. Okay, I like all of them. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyway, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I'm really going now. Love you, bye!